All right, welcome. This tutorial is going to talk about the auto pose feature in Faceware Retargeter. Now today I'm demoing in Autodesk 3ds Max and I'm using the popular Max character here. Uh, if you haven't used this guy before, he's really fun, a lot of great deformations, uh, highly customizable, a great Max character. Love using him. So I'm going to pull up Retargeter here. Now you can see I've already got a shot loaded and uh, on the left side of Max's face we've got um, an actor doing a kind of a really cartoony performance that I thought was appropriate for this rig. Anyway, um, dummy. So the shot's loaded and ready to go. Uh, if you're unsure how to get to this point, please watch the opening a performance tutorial for Faceware Retargeter, and that'll show you how to get to where we're at now. So at this point, we're ready to start creating animation. Now we have a few options on how we're going to do that, and the option we're going to discuss in this tutorial is using auto pose. So what I'm going to do first is I want to select the mouth group. We're going to start with the mouth. And I also want to turn off auto solve. I just want to show you guys what it does with and without auto solve first. So first turn it off. And then uh, with this group selected, I'm going to come down to the bottom right where we have auto pose. Now you have a button to actually get your auto poses. You also have a choice of how many you want to start off with. Uh, five is going to be good for us for right now. But if I did want to change it, it's easy as uh, just give it a click and you can change. So set to five, I'm going to click get auto pose. Now what's going to happen is it's going to generate five poses for us. Now you'll notice there's been no change on my character. All it's done here is given us some examples of where we could put some poses. Now what these examples actually represent are extreme uh, facial expressions in the mouth. Now if we kind of look through what it's chosen here, this is a really like kind of a wide yell. Um, we've got kind of a, a, a wider, uh, the, the jaw's not open as wide, but the mouth itself is a bit wider. There's a kind of a closed mouth here. There's an ooh phoneme shape. And then there's this, uh, I don't even know what you'd call that. <laughs> it's a it's kind of a scrunched up mouth here. Um, now what Autopose is doing when it selects these frames is it's going to select the first frame is going to be the most average pose in all of this. Now the most average pose, which in this case is going to be this one, it doesn't mean that it's going to be a neutral pose. It means that in the scope of this performance that we're looking at, you know, of all the things this guy's going to do with his mouth, kind of what's the most average of all of those? And in this case, this pose right here is our most average. And this is usually what you're going to see for the most average pose. The mouth is sort of open, um, you know, not too wide, not too narrow, just somewhere in the middle. Um, and then the next pose it chooses after that is going to be the most extreme, which I'm going to guess is probably this one. And then the third pose it's going to choose will be the most extreme sort of in the opposite direction, which is probably this. So we have average, we have mouth wide open, and we have mouth very closed. And then as you get more auto poses from the, th from the first three, you're going to start to see kind of in between those extremes. So at this point, you could go into your rig and you'd start posing out Max here to look like this pose in this video. From that point, you could generate animation. Now, the next thing I want to show you is the addition of auto solve has given us an extra boost to auto pose here. So what I'm going to do is select all my auto posed calibrations. I'm just going to delete them. And then I'm going to turn auto solve back on. So I've got mouth selected and I've clicked this checkbox to turn on auto solve. And then I'm going to generate those same five auto poses. The major difference this time, as you could see, uh, it's generated animation as well. So as I click through these poses, Autosolve has actually gone in and posed the rig for me. Now, obviously this is a, a human, right, and which all your performances will be, but this character is, uh, he's cartoony looking, you know, he's not a realistic looking character. So Autosolve is going to kind of do its best to figure out what you might want based on your expression set poses, um, but at this point there's going to be some artistic sort of uh, changes we're going to make. So I would go down this list and actually, you know, make whatever changes I wanted to to each of these poses. And uh, I could double click the description here to give it a different name. You can call that, oh, that's not really an U, is it? It's kind of uh, almost like an F. And 
then we'll call this one open. And uh, we'll call it semi open. And we'll call this one our average. And this really doesn't matter. You can name it whatever you like here. And then we'll call it uh, very closed. Oh, and I'll spell it right. So, you know, you get the idea. You can name these whatever you want. And you would go down this list of poses and select, you know, your controllers to change the pose anywhere you liked. And then you would update using this button here. And when you're done, you would simply hit retarget. And what this is going to do is now it's going to inform your auto solve to generate animation all the way throughout oh, I think for this oh, shot. That's pretty all right, so that's how auto pose works. Uh, again, if you have auto solve turned on, you're going to see animation right away on your poses. Uh, if you have auto solve turned off, uh, you won't see animation right away on your poses when you get them. Now, the next thing to show you though is if I turn auto solve back off and I get, let's say, two more poses. Because I've already got some calibrations, I've got some poses here, my new auto poses are actually going to show animation. So once it has a general idea of, of what you're doing and you've got a little bit of information in there, uh, it'll start to try to pose out your, uh, your frames as it goes. Uh, from the beginning, you're not going to see animation right away unless auto solve is turned on, but once you've got some calibrations in there, you'll start to see posed face on each of those. So let's show you the same thing with the eyes here. Uh, or let's do the eyebrows, it's a bit more exciting. So we'll start with say three auto poses. So this is going to choose my three frames. I've got kind of a angry pose here. You know you could see how the you know based on my expression set this is the cartoony <laughs> interpretation of uh, this guy looking kind of angry. Uh, you've got another one here, and you've got sort of a relaxed, a you know, a little bit more relaxed. All right, thank you for watching the tutorial here on auto poses. And if you have any more questions, you can always go to support.faceweartech.com.